So what do you got to say? Sun Devils. Hey, listen, listen. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, it was no rival. They sucked. When we, I mean, they had Eddie House in them, but we just smashed on them. They was So there wasn't really competition for us to actually be rivals with. Our rivals were Stanford, you know. That was pretty much it. Other than that, you know, them, them devils didn't really do much to entertain us. Nobody wants to be in Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> true, that was true. Nobody true. wants to be in Tucson. We used to drive up to Tempe all the time, though. I didn't Lit, even, we're jealous, not even gonna lie. Sure. We're not even Tempe gonna lie, we did. Spot. Welcome back to No Chill with Gilbert Arenas. I'm Mike Botticello. He is Gilbert Arenas. How you doing? Hello, Gilbert. I still don't even know your last name like that, though. But You're was, just amazed that it's Italian. And yeah, it's just, I just, you know, like, there's something to be. Some things <laughs> never cease to amaze. And today, Gil, we have Josh Christopher in so, the house. Yes, Literally so. in the house. We're in Gilbert's house. <laughs> nah, for sure. These are different times sure. now, but welcome to the show. Appreciate it. Thanks for having so me. So we got, we got something to get into here, Gil. But uh, before we do, let's go through Josh's resume. You're a five-star recruit incoming to Arizona State. Uh, you're at Mayfair here in Lakewood, California. Senior season stats, Gil, 29.2 points per game, eight rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 3.1 steals. I think it was 11 rebounds. Ooh. 11 rebounds? Ooh. I think, yeah, it was 11. <laughs> oh, we didn't have playoffs in there. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but what you- I was out every year, first round. <laughs> what you would know, Gil, and this is what I wanted to get into, Arizona State. Arizona. I know, I know. I was like, man, who goes to Arizona State? <laughs> so what do you got to say? Sun Devils. Hey, listen, listen. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, it was no rival. They sucked. Our rivals were Stanford, you know. That was pretty much it. Other than that, you know, them, them devils didn't really do much to entertain us. Nobody wants to be in Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> true, that was true. Nobody true. wants to be in Tucson. We used to drive up to Tempe all the time, though. I didn't Lit, even, we're not even gonna lie. Show. We're not even Tempe gonna lie. We spot. did. You know, we did. Tempe is the spot. Okay, so <laughs> what went into the decision? Um, well, for one, I wanted to play with my brother again. Uh, he's a sophomore there, so, you know, to be able to reunite with him. Um, Bobby Hurley, that's guard you. Um, and you know they push the pace. I think I do well in the, like the fast break transition. You know, the faster we're playing, the more possessions we we'll get. The more we can score the ball, the more points we put on the board. Um, and then I think it'll just be fun to be closer to home. I didn't want to go too far. I'm a Cali kid, so you know I didn't want to go somewhere all the way in the East Coast and be homesick. So being comfortable is important to me as well. You know, that's a smart decision. I always ask, you know, you know, college kids, what made you go to that school? Neighbor, and then you said it. Style. <laughs> more possessions. That means everyone gets to eat. Everyone looks good. Everyone right. has a chance, you know, to, to to make it. And that's you know when your style is up and down. That's exactly the type of systems you want to be in. You right. don't want to be in some half court system just because you know they they got this name on them. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, if that doesn't fit my style, I'm gonna get lost in it. That's right. You know. So the fact that you said that you picked it because of the style of play and you know, named everything that has to do with what's going to make you look great is 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 is, is very smart. It's a big decision. It was a hard, <laughs> hard, hard decision, but I think I made the right well, one. Well, you said Cali kids, so SC, UCLA. I know they were options. Yeah, but you know, family comes first. I wouldn't I wouldn't go to uh, another school in the Pac-12 with my brother being at ASU. Like that, just I could I wasn't going to do that. That's weird. You know, well, so it could go the other way, your rivals. What's so funny is it's hard, it's hard to get a West Coast kid to really leave the West it's, Coast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't put me in California that want me to go <laughs> somewhere far where it's snowing. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, tough. Yeah. You it's can hard. do that, it. That is a th like, people don't understand. That's a, that's a real thing that West Coast kids, they'll rather go to Fresno, little schools here, before they go... East Coast. Even Arizona is pretty much West Coast. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Western. Yeah, that's West. Yeah. It's not on the coast. <laughs> yeah, it's just West Coast. It's like Cali minus yeah. the beach. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe a little hotter, but <laughs> yeah. like same stuff. Pools, lakes. Right. But also you touched on the important factor as a coach too, that you want to know the program that you're going into. I would think that any coach would tell you, oh yeah, yeah, come here, you get the ball more. We'll play your style of game. Not always the case. That is usually, you know, something that a player and a parent has to see through. Because, you know, if you're a five-star, they're going to tell you whatever you want to hear. You know what I mean? They're going to tell you that, yo, you're, but all you do is just look at the system. Like, is this coach really going to change his whole system just for me, me being a one-and-done or two? 
Like, is he really going to do it? No. Nah. No, you got to watch for yourself. You know, so you got to watch for yourself and see how they play. See how many plays go for the, the shooting guard. Is it a guard offense? Is it a big man offense? You got to really, you know, pay attention instead of just looking at, okay, I'm, I want this name. I want, you know, it's like, even though I hate Duke, I, I go to Duke. What, what pros, what pro success have those guys actually had? Like, Kyrie Irving, by himself, tops every Duke player that's ever been there in the All-Star game. If you take out Grant Hill, there's not, the other 95 players don't have more All-Star games than him. Right. That's, that says a lot. Like, no matter what names you get, whatever you're doing for those nine, 10 months in college does not translate in the NBA for some reason. You know, and those are the types of things I look at. Right. You know, when I'm looking at, you know, colleges, like, you know, for your skill set, who, what, what type of players are they generating? And when they transfer, how does that game transfer? Because eight months of a game can really, you know, yeah. it can really, like, hurt you or make you. Right. But I think, he, first of all, he hates Duke, so he yeah, he's going to throw something at him. I don't, I don't blame you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about Duke, I think they have, Coach K has progressed to where you think, Trash. look at some of the guys that he had. Trash. Jason Tatum. Has he made the All-Star game yet? And that's my guy. I know he is. That's okay. why I threw him at you. Zion. Has he made, has he made the All-Star game yet? No. <laughs> I'm just saying. But look at who's, look at this wave that's coming pretty much, you probably say, since Kyrie. No that, All-Stars. Future stars. No all-stars. I already, trust me, I didn't do the research. I know you did, because okay, again, did, you hate did. Duke. But I the did. point is, you look at Duke and then a, a program like Kentucky, which I would say is just a major feeder for the NBA. Yeah, it also depends on where the kids come from. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look at all-stars and all NBA players, they're West Coast kids for the most part. 80% of, for sure. so, what, so the West Coast produced the most NBA players. For they, sure. And they, they, they produce the better of the... Then you have Chicago falling in second. Jersey overtook New York. Um, you got the Atlanta boys. You got the DMV. And then you got Toronto. I would say DMV over Atlanta at this point. They're fine. Look at the, look at the list. Because you got all of Georgia. So you got all the country. Mm. Country Bamas. That's what we call them. <laughs> well, but, you know, Cali has the all-around game because of the weather. So we can play outdoors, indoors. We can play all too. year round versus everyone else. So you were a Cali kid at one year, Cali man. Now I guess we call you Cali. Are you an OG at this point? Or just like a... On which part? Does anybody call you OG yet? No. That's when you know you're getting old. That's when you know you're yeah. getting old. Yeah, yeah. No, when they when they call you uh, unk, like yeah. Jay, are you getting old? Like, it's over. Are you getting like that? I'm in the unk, like they call it Uncle Snoop Unk, and someone called me Unk. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, hold yeah. on. There's like some Snoop, steps Snoop's before like, I get that. He's, he's in his fifties, but I, know. I don't think you're Unk category okay, yet. Okay, cool. Maybe, but you're a Cali kid. Right. So as a Cali kid, what is that? Like, speak to that. I mean, I could, I could put on some pink pants. Like, kids on the East Coast can't do nothing like that. If you ask me, I think this, this, that's is, it? this is <laughs> on just that, that's, that's the base. I think we just had that swag. Like, I think we just have that extra swag. I could, like, we could walk into a gym, I could wear a chain, I could have a smile on my face, and then still come doggy. And they're going to have a problem. I feel like Cali kids, we don't really care. We do what we want, we play, we go home. I feel like it makes other people mad. I feel like that nonchalant character about Cali kids like that's just something you carry. I, I think you, that that swag boils down to what confidence yeah you know, for that's sure. another way of saying that so but it's like over the top confidence but on the basketball court doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. you know it you have a uniform matter. on doesn't matter if your shorts are up you know rolled up high because there's so much talent there's so much talent here that when you get to the top of that you know you are at the top so when you go play east coast yeah they might be grimy and they, they all fierce and stuff, but when it comes to just natural talent, we're better. It's just basketball. It's just basketball. <laughs> you just going to dribble around and yeah, stuff. It was a different era. We, we were talking earlier today about Timberlands. Like, you don't see Tims out here in no, L.A. No, L.A. is like, Vans and Chuck. Oh, but think of that. <laughs> <laughs> the big boots back in the 90s, though, that was, it was just no, a different era never, of basketball. No, we didn't wear that here. I know you didn't. But New York players, guys coming from near Marbury, Sham guys. They like, probably still wear boots. Yeah, they for sure do. No, we don't wear no boots and... <laughs> 
I'm on chunks and we got the nice little yeah, 95s. But I think to put your finger on it, the mindset of like the East Coast toughness, the greediness, right? And LA, what it is, you just said it's swag. Mm -hmm. It's confidence. And you have to be a character. So more than ever, I think that's welcomed as a, as a player. Is to be I, think, a I think it translates better too, realistically. And we can shoot the ball better. Yeah, for sure. That's we, have the, we have the best all-around game. Without a doubt, 100%. And it's a hometown bias. I'm, I'm, I'm it's not a hometown player. bias. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. That's, 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 He's from New York, facts. where they just dribble around and do yeah, nothing with the ball. That's that's his city. They just want to dribble around, dribble the shot clock out. Like that going to trans. Like, see, that's a problem with New York basketball. What you what they do in high school does not translate anywhere else. So you can have this one guard that can just dribble the clock out. When you get to college, there's a shot clock. God damn it. You, now you got to change your whole game. Then in the NBA, there's another shot clock that's even lower than that one. And you have never prepared for none of that because you was too busy just dribbling. You don't know how to finish games three, two, one. You ain't doing that in the backyard because you're too busy dribbling. That's why they fell off. Last 20, was it last 20 something years? Kimba Walker is the best player Kimba, ever came yeah. in New York. Kimba Col Walker. Kyrie, well, so you. No, Kyrie's New, New, New Jersey, Jersey. So New Jersey doesn't count. Tri state area? Nope. New York. You got Kimba and Lance Stevenson. It's the one and two. Mm. Cole Anthony now. Who? You know who Cole Anthony is. He didn't get drafted yet. Yeah. He's, he's, he's in the NBA? He's, he's coming, yeah. He's in the NBA? He's, when the draft happens, yes. Oh, okay. I mean, just, whew. I'm just <laughs> bump your brace. I'm just yeah. anointing that was the next New York. Okay, just bump your brace. You just can't give everybody this. You got, you got what's the name? And Lance. That's... I guess, I, I mean, I've never really heard you do this before. You don't want to name stars ahead of time. No Jason Tatum yet until he's an all-star. No Zion until he's an all-star. But Iverson would look at me in my face until I made the all-star game. Like, you'd be talking to him, he'd be... Like, damn, Yeah, that's bro. sick. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> damn, bro. You want to even look a man in his face when he asks you a question? Has glasses on looking right through you, bro. Yeah, that's foul. Do you feel that? Different for you now? No, nah, I feel like I'm, I might go with him. Like, I got to see it. Yeah, yeah. I got to see it. That's just what it is. That's the, 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 the best thing about basketball is when you get to the big level, it's all placement. You know what I mean? It's all placement and the hunger, the, the, the will to want it, the will to get better. Because what people don't understand is you have, it'll be the first time in your life where you have so much free time. So much free time? So much free time. That, that's what you, you, you have. You wake up, eat your breakfast, don't eat your breakfast, go to practice at 10 o'clock. You back in your car by 12. This is after you done got extra shots, took a shower, got your massages and I, 12, noon. So from noon to 10 in the morning is free time. Right. So... When you watch NBA players, I'm like, yo, how, how he ain't getting better? Because <laughs> he's sitting at home. Yeah, he ain't working. Sitting at home playing video games. Like you, when you, when you get to those next levels, even college, you got to understand, like, I'm one and done. For this one and done, this is what I need to be doing. You know, I need to figure out how to get better. Because it's not like college where, you know, you're going, you, you get to go to the student union and sit there all day, have fun, go to classes, and you're interacting. You have nothing to do. Yeah. You know, that's why you can tell, you can tell who sits in gyms. Their game, their game changes overnight. You know what I mean? You know, so it's just, you, you set a plan, you set goals, and you attack them. Josh, I know you're not in college yet, but I don't know who in college goes and hangs out at the student union. Not anymore. I don't even know this. Yeah, don't do that. Is. It's just that's word, that's word, that's word of advice. Don't do that. Oh, yeah, I don't think people do that. Yeah. Nobody did? No. I don't, I don't think Maybe so. they did it. Maybe they did yeah, it. Maybe they did it. I don't think so. That's where everybody's going to eat lunch. No. That's what that's, no. Everybody got to eat, so that's what you do. <laughs>
pass on whatever he has to me, that's going to be perfect. And just for me to handle business, that's why I'm there. Eight, eight, nine months. If I got to be there for two years, I'm trying to handle business. Yeah, that's, sure. I mean, that's, that's, that is the key. Like, you, you have to keep your goal. Like, don't get sidetracked. It's easy to get sidetracked. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, it's, you know, you want to go there, play with your brother. And then from there, you know, trying to get to that next journey. Right. You know, so you have to put the plan in place. You know, um, when I when I went to college, you know, I was going to be a red shirt and then I was going to go to four year plan and be Jason Terry. I heard that story. Yeah. So when I got there, I'm like, I don't. All right. Let me just go get shots up. So I was so obsessed with just trying to make it four years instead of five years that I end up taking the, the, the two car position. Starting. Let the team score. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because I was so obsessed with just cutting that five year plan into four years. You know what I mean? And and just three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, running, shooting. Like, like I, when when we when we got in trouble and had to do line drills, that was fun for me. Cause I didn't look at it as punishment. I looked at it as I'm just getting more in shape. You know, if I'm if I'm sitting here doing line drills every day, who's gonna keep up with me and and on the other on the other side. Right. So I'm sitting here just running. I'm you know, I don't <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just when you get there, just figure out what your weaknesses. What are your weaknesses? I gotta get my my three ball back. Um probably I need to finish it like at the rim. Just like having like a good layup package. Um probably playing off the ball more, just like moving. And then probably got, I gotta get better in the pick and roll. Cause like I never really played with like a like a dominant big. Mm -hmm. So just to be able to like play in that PNR. That's all that's all it is in the league, pretty much. Yeah. So to be able to master that once I get there, that's important. All right, so right now just efficiency too. Right now, college is gonna <clears throat> college is gonna force you to move without the ball anyway. Yeah. Um so you're gonna get that just being in college when it comes to working on your layup package, spend the first 20 minutes. Just, just layups. You know, you know how you warm up. Mm -hmm. You just work on layups. Just the first twenty minutes every single day before practice. Just you know, when you're warming up, just work on spinning and getting the feel of it. You know, just getting that movement. Because to be honest, at your level, how often do you do layups? When you're training, you're dunking them. You're dunking everything. <laughs> I stopped dunking them though. Yeah. I was yeah. like, it's no point in me dunking. It don't take no skill to dunk. Yeah, yeah. So I'll Euro, I'll yeah, yeah. hop step, do stuff yeah, that's like what that. I say. So the first 20 minutes, you just work on getting the feel because the, when, when we're working out, for some reason, we lose, we lose the feel of the first like eight feet, nine feet. So little, so if you're not really practicing floaters and training on floaters, you lose that, you lose that touch. So like somebody like Kyrie and um, I mean Strickland, Rod Strickland, lay up packages for days. Like Rod was probably the best. He's the one who taught Kyrie. You know that all them spins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just work 20 minutes every day, just working on them. You know um, Steve Nash, same thing. First 20 minutes of practice, he just worked on all the little weird stuff. You know it's just like getting better. Like you can you can work out for a year and not actually get better at anything. You know what I mean? Like you, you think you're getting, you, you think you're getting better, but you're not. Right. Like whatever you're good at now, just you don't, you don't really need to work on that no more. You know, you work on the things that you're not good at. That's yeah. what actually gets you better. You know what I mean? So if you have six things that you need to work on, try to try to knock out two of them this summer, and then work on that during the year. Next summer, before the draft, two more. After your first year, two more. You know, it ain't, I'm going to work on all six of these. <laughs> you know, this, nah, that's not how that works. Right. You know what I mean? Take one, two, and then just focus on that the whole time. Then once that's, in, once that's in your package, work on another package. When I trained, I trained as a two guard. You know, because I'm, since I'm the point, I have the ball. So I'm going to train as a two guard. So I did every, all, my, all my workout stuff was all two guard stuff. Coming off the pick and roll, coming off the picks, coming off pin downs, spot shooting, curl shooting. So if we ever had a, a, a point guard come in that can push me to the two, I was Clay Thompson. You know what I mean? And that's why Clay and Steph work so well together because Dame, Dame and uh, CJ, because they both know exactly the same positions. So that's what I said. So you got to look at the same thing. You got to know your players better than they know themselves. Right. And it's also time. For you, right? Like there's yeah. things, that, obviously you can do all this stuff, but what you're focusing on, even talk about your layup package, things that you have to simulate, things like contact, 
things like game going at a game speed. Just there's differences to what you're doing out there. That's what you're saying you you need to get into more. Yeah, probably. I mean, high school is like it's high school. You feel <laughs> me? Like it's time for like a challenge. I think I'll really be tested now because like. I'll see how good I really am once I know I'm good, but I'm, I will really see when I get to college, and that's where I'll be able to tell like what I really need to get better at. Because I mean, high school basketball is just what's so funny. College is just gonna be just as easy as it's high school. Right. It's the same players. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same players. I mean, yeah, they might be bigger, they might be better players, but at the end of the day, it's the same. It's the same group. So if you dominate, if your mindset is if I dominated them here, yeah. what changes here? If I'm working, nothing. Ain't no different. Yeah, no. Like oh, if I yeah. if I was bopping you here, yeah. you gonna get bopped here. For <laughs> sure. There's no difference. For sure. That's what, and that was what I found out when I was in, when I was going through that transition. Because I'm thinking the same thing. Like, man, it's a total different spot, right? And then you know when I'm getting there and I'm watching practice, like I'm sitting there watching like. Can't even stick the crossover still. Like, oh, he's go out there, hit him with the. He still goes for that. <laughs> it's still the same. Like, yeah, you went through one year of college, but you still can't. And then now your confidence goes up. For like, sure. so, like soon as you dunk on a big man, you gonna be like, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> that's what I said. As soon as you I'm dunk on for. the big man, because remember, back in college, they're forced to jump, jump. Yeah. If, you know, but you know. The difference, the only thing that like slows you down is just when play when teams play zones. You gotta have rules. Yeah. I mean, rules is like, as an NBA player going in, rules. Your brother, your family, all stick by the same rules. Understand the rules and don't break the rules. From there, you you have no limit. You know what I mean? Like, like I used to have a rule that I didn't. There's no phones on game day. Like no phones on the whole game day. There's no phones because I I realized that there's nothing that's gonna come good. On there's nothing someone's gonna text me that's gonna actually have me play well. You know what I mean? There's nothing that can no, no one's that, yeah you gonna get the ball 47 times. There, there's nothing that can come through this text that's gonna make you play well. But there can be something on the test that can make you play bad. Right. You know, so I just, there's nothing. Like, tickets, yo, dad, brother, y'all figure that out. Whoever need tickets, y'all figure that out. Or do it the night before. Don't, don't call me about tickets on game day. Game day is just for me to just focus. I'm going to watch my movies, eat my food. Don't, don't, even, you know, don't even talk to me on game day. I need my thoughts to be pure. Right. You know what I mean? And that's how I was on game day. I didn't talk to the media before game. I don't, y'all don't need to tell me, y'all, what question y'all going to ask me that's going to make me? Oh, yeah, you didn't pass the ball. How do you feel? Like, I don't want to hear none of that shit before the game. I don't want to hear none of that. If I'm selfish, let me be selfish, bro. Right. Let me, no, I was sure. going to the game thinking about shooting 30 shots, and you over here talking about passing and team ball. I don't know. my whole game up. You know what I mean, and that's that's how I that's how I approached it. And then you know I, I you know I was so into like preparation that I ate the same food on game day at home, drove the same way. I don't care if there was a car blocking my path. If this is the lane I was in, and if something happened to this car, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna move. We're gonna help move it to this side so I can go by. God damn it, because I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna do to my game. Sure. You know what I mean? And you know, it was just one of those. And I was just, <laughs> I was just into it. I was just so superstitious. Yeah. It was just one of those yeah, things. Yeah. Like once I seen, once I seen, like, oh, I didn't use my phone that had forty. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's with. over. <laughs> Is that the biggest difference at the pro level? Your mental. Really, they you know, to, they said it's ninety percent mental, ten percent physical. Every, got them, every every everyone. Got, remember, everyone has a resume. Everyone was someone. If you're at this, remember, this is the level everyone's trying to get to. So, if you take someone like PJ Tucker, if you look at his high school resume, I'm probably straight like, damn, that is that good? He's a role player here, right? And then you have James Harden, who came off the bench to you know, KD and Westbrook. Now look at him. You know, it's 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 the mental part of it. Who who are who who's mentally stronger than who? You know what I mean? Who's who accept challenges, who backs down from challenges? You know, it's it's a it's you got all the tigers in one stage. And 
who can kill who? Who's going to be tougher than who? You know what I mean? It ain't, you know, when people say, well, he beat him and I beat him, that means I'm better than him. Well, no, that's not technically how that works. You know, he lost to him because he has something over him. You have something over him, what makes you better than him? You know what I mean? It's just matchups. If, it, if, you, if you hit that matchup right, like when people said, oh, Kobe's a great defender, and I'm like, not to me. Not to, not, not to me. He's great in possessions. He can not move left to right faster than me. So any crossover, I'm going to get him if I just blow past him. So as a defender, yeah, he's A1, not to me. You know what I mean? Raja Bell, he's A1, not to me. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, so when those defensive players came, it's like, oh, <laughs> I got 40 tonight. <laughs> I hated the lazy defender. You can score, you're going to score. Yeah, that's what I said. Like. I hated the lazy defender because the lazy defender – when you try to cross over it, he wasn't planning on moving anyway. So he just did this, boop. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, try, try to try to try to like cross up a lazy defender. They don't go nowhere because they don't want to play no defense. You know what I mean? It's that it's that overhype when you get yeah yeah, yeah boy, when they start yeah. dancing with you because yeah. he's gonna go for everything. That lazy, I hated the lazy defender. That's the ones who stopped me. <laughs> he put so much effort into that shake that he just <laughs> yeah. one half ass reach. <laughs> and he ain't going for that. Cross over, boop. God damn it. It's the worst. It's the worst. So you mentioned this, that you, when you get there, you have something in mind. What do you want to accomplish beyond basketball? Beyond, so ba- bas- no, nothing basketball. Well, basketball can get you there, let's face yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so I want my, like, my grandkids to be able to eat off my name, like without a doubt. Like, they can do whatever they want, but like make sure my grandkids are set. So it's like to be extremely, extremely financially stable. Probably, probably getting into my own kind of fashion stuff. That, that, that would be a big deal. Uh, for some reason, like I've been like thinking I can get like to entertainment. I don't know. That's the LA kid for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, you're the person, that, you're the yeah, personality. That's what I'm saying. I've, I've always thought like that, but like it's just been like a thought. Like maybe I could be an actor one day. I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't know. It's just like it's crossing my mind lately. Um, maybe write a book too. Something like that. So, like a biography or a yeah, probably story? Like, my, my English teacher told me, like, I think I wrote an essay and she was like, uh, one day I think you should write like a book on your life. Like when it's all said and done, she's like, you have like a really like fun, active, like writing style. So I don't know. We'll see. Got to handle business first though. Business yeah. first? Like entertainment? Just be you. Facts. You know, be you. Just be like, like be that loving dude, the smiling dude. You know what I mean? Because everyone's looking for the next personality. Yeah. You know, who who can I, who, what face can I sell to women? It ain't, it ain't always about basketball. Who can I sell to women? For what sure. face can I sell to women? Because you remember, like, that when your clothing brands come, it's 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 them. It's, you know, so they're going to push the faces. Like, I want to, I want to push the faces. I got the faces. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. You got to push the faces. And... You might go, you might have to trim that down a little bit. You might have to trim it down just a <laughs> that's little the new bit. Look, man. It's, it's a new look. I'm it's a trend. Now, eventually, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait till like it gets out of out like of pocket. I'm gonna tell you, like this is they don't say it, they don't be saying it. But if you look at everyone they push, do they have hair? No, or? yeah, I know. When people talk about Kobe, right? Like, oh, he wasn't, he, he wasn't as great as Jordan. That wasn't the point. The point was he was competing with that greatness in his mind. So as long as he's at the top, it forced him to get better every year. I'm watching Jordan this year, okay? His 98 season, his 99 season, like year by year, he's challenging himself against Jordan. No one else in the NBA, because no one in the NBA, the rest of the NBA wasn't on the level of Michael Jordan, so why am I competing with them? They're just in my way, is how he looked at it. They're in my way. I'm competing against Jordan's stats every year, and that's how he did it. Thanks. You know what I mean? So you, you, you get something. Even if it's, it's Kobe, it's Jordan, and you, this is who I'm going against. This is who I'm going against. I'm not going against y'all. You don't think he was just as good or better than Jordan? No? It's rare air. I'll give it that. I I like Kobe, bro. I like Kobe over Jordan. See, it's hard because evolution gives Kobe more moves. Yeah. You know, more creativity. Yeah, he had way more creativity than Jordan. You know, but when it comes to engines, just the body type. I wouldn't say way more. 
No, what I'm saying, but the body type himself, yeah. you're talking about someone who had a 46 inch vertical versus someone who had a 38 inch vertical. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, you know, someone who has fast twitch muscles like Westbrook versus white boy player. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, so it was two different body styles. You know, just if you just took away the game and all the attributes and you say, all right, who do you want to be? And you're looking at their body type, and you're like, oh shit, this one. <laughs> you don't want no parts of it. This is this one is average. You know, he just had a motor of wanting to be great. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, now you got a Honda chasing a Bugatti. And that's what it is. Is that is that that's a Bugatti, I'm a Honda, and I done willed my way to get to a Lamborghini. Because if, if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't have looked at that Bugatti, I probably would have stayed a Honda. Yeah. But because I'm chasing him and I want to be as great as that, my engine's getting bigger just trying to keep up with it. And that's, that's what got him inside the, I'm one of the greatest rooms. He didn't have to be, I'm the greatest. I got in the room. Y'all didn't think I was getting into this room. I'm in the room. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for what Josh point. was saying about Kobe and the, and, and the thing about Jordan was he had the freakish factor where he, his layup package was stuff that you really wouldn't, it was all reactionary. Sick. He'd go up under and then yeah, hang and, then and put freak. spin up. Where Kobe really wouldn't look at it that way. He's more of a perfectionist. Yeah. It's, 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 the, it's the Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, super freaks. And then you have... Mayweather, that's Kobe. Kobe's a Mayweather. Right. You know, I'm not the biggest, the strongest, but I'm going to perfect. I'm going to perfect my style and my craft versus these guys are just freak. They're God-given They had freaks. the athletic advantage. But what, yeah. what is it for you about Kobe that stands out above everybody else? I don't know. Man, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like maybe Jordan was ahead of his time, but I feel like he wasn't pushed as much as I feel like Jordan didn't play as good as competition as Kobe did. Like we, I, I watched, I watched clips against when they played the Pistons. The whole bad boys thing, it was cool, but <laughs> they just beat him up. They, that wasn't basketball. Mm -hmm. they, that wasn't basketball. They were trying to kill him, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I go on a crowd, I never played basketball before, and you tell me go f him up, that's not gonna be hard. I just gotta make sure I hit him. But think of it like this: how you looked at high school is how Jordan was in the NBA. Because I'm so, I'm so much. He was just ahead of his time. I'm just so, my attributes, you gotta remember, his attributes, the, the closest person that came to his vert since him is um, Zach Levine, 45. Vince was 44. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're talking about some guy who's still the highest jumper <laughs> in NBA history. Yeah, still. Sick. So, you can see when he decided to go, there was really no force that was stopping him. So he he made it look like high school. Like <laughs> so he was just ahead of his time then. Just yeah. period. If, if you dropped, if you drop, this is what I used to tell people. Okay, let's drop Jordan here and give him all of Kobe's, all of Kobe's creativity. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a problem. Right? Now what does Kobe, Kobe's lacking all of Jordan's natural ability. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the one thing. Like, God he's giving just so, gifts. He's just so physically gifted in everybody yeah, else. That yeah. was the problem. And I was like his, like you, you, your hands, that's Jordan's hands. Kobe had his hands. That's why you never seen Kobe sitting there. He still found the ball though. <laughs> you never seen Kobe no, doing yeah, that. Not, not yeah, the Jordan. Yeah, Jordan, 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 Jordan was putting all Because he didn't here. have, right. he didn't have big hands. He wasn't that fast. Like, so, when you're when you're when you're lacking something, you have to make it up. So when you say, "Oh, Kobe had more skill," yeah, Kobe needed more skill because Kobe couldn't just dribble and just jump over everybody. He couldn't come in the lane and do all. So he had to come with the pump fakes and hesitations of reverse spins because he had to figure out how to get that shot off. Right. It wasn't like it's like Kyrie versus Westbrook. They're both in the same era, but one just says, "I don't need all that." She, I just meow. <laughs> meet me at the meet me at the rim type of game. The other one is I'm got to shake and bake you. And, yeah, he has to. Do yeah, he has stuff. to do it. But the thing about Kobe, he also had the commitment to do that the dedication to work on his skill. Where there's guys, and no shade to him, but guys like a Vince Carter or Iguodala, they're just freak athletes. Yeah, 
But when you have that bounce, bro, you are you like your potential out of the roof, bro. And you have the athleticism. It's just what you build. So think on of what top Jordan of that. did with that. But that's the problem. Like, if you take Vince, right, and you take Vince and said, "All right, I'm gonna take all your attributes and we're gonna give you Kobe's mindset," Vince would have been considered the the goat because his attributes was almost better than Jordan's. Right. Because he had bigger hands, longer arms. I mean, his one-two bounce, his shot, his creativity. Like, he was, he just didn't have the mind and the heart to want to be as great as that. You know what I mean? And some some, some, some guys just, it, it's so easy to them that they don't, I don't need to work on that, man. I'm yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody don't care like that. Yeah, once once you, saying. everybody, you, so once you get you? in there, oh, no, I'm trying to be in that room. For sure, I'm trying to be in that room. As long as you want to be in that room, that means you're going to put the work in to be in it. Yeah. You're going to be in it. I'm trying to be in that Some more game recognizes game there for, for what you've seen on Josh. Okay, it's not Nick, what you posted. What have you seen in his game? Who are some other guys that you want him to study? Like for him, because I, I, he has that D Wade power style. Like before. he had that D Wade, like the way he hit, hits the, the the basket. That's why I told him, like, you know, watch like Joe Johnson, people who are slower. You know, because you know, trying to get all the fundamental in. You know, it's like you don't need to prepare for what you do now. Right now, you're freaking nature. You know, mm -hmm. you 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 prepare for when you're slowing down in life. So if you already in, if you already put it into your body. When you do slow down, it doesn't affect you. Right. You know, like, you know, same thing with Jordan. He learned to turn around and back to the basket all this way before he slowed down. So when he turns 40, Easy. <laughs> he averages 20 points a game. You know what I mean? That, you know, there, there's a reason. So you, you're, you're preparing for now, but you're preparing for the future, you know, with your, your skill level. So, you know, you watch guys who, who have to use more footwork than their natural ability. Mm -hmm. I got one, one I brought up and I didn't think you'd like it, but if you watch a younger Milwaukee, Seattle, Ray Allen, people remember him as the shooter that he was yeah, in Miami. No, he, no, he was very, he was yeah, athletic he, I, when he first came Yeah, I seen a couple smooth, clips, a couple so clips. Was, yeah. And just his release was so quick. And that's the thing that, that it takes a lot of work to get hit to his shot that it got refined to when he was older, but when he was younger, his release was so quick and that was his really ultimate weapon. I mean, Mm. I'll take a look. He was a rival. That's why. I'll take, uh, he's I'll a rival. take a look. Uh, I mean, uh, you're dead. You're he hours jumped, in the he gym. Jumped, he jumped too high. He jumped too high, which tired him out for the fourth quarter. So yeah, you know, I already know my game plan with him. <laughs> <laughs> but jumped you know, too high because he was a but he was a jumper. Gym, you got to remember, the more energy you're using, the mm. more injury you're wasting. Right. I don't even want to dunk the ball. I do, but I don't. No, you, you I, listen, I, listen. Uh, don't need it. You got to remember every time you like you. You're putting on a show. Yeah. You know, fair. there's one thing that you got to look at from that Jordan thing is, remember, every time you step on the floor, you have to play like someone is seeing you for the first That's time. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like, this is the, this is the first time. So I don't know where this person came from. This is the first time this person seeing me. So, and this might be the last time this person seeing me. So I need to go out and show. Like, I need to go out. Like, I remember when Vince Carter was doing that. Vince Carter. Uh, 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 be on the fast break and wouldn't dunk. People start booing. I do remember that. Yeah. Remember that you? I came here to see yeah. you getting funky on the fast it's, break. It's, once you give them something, you, they gonna keep expecting it. So, yeah. You, you, look, you gotta do you, bro. <laughs> you gotta do you, man. Like, nah, dunking is fun though, for sure. I just wanna you. make sure I got gotta, it all. You gotta like, I, I'm trying to look. You trying to sell shoes? Yeah, that's a fact. You trying to serve merchandise? You need to, you need the kids and be like, ah, I need to, you know, be going yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you right, you dunk right. on seventeen people. You know yeah, that's. You right. You know, As a non-dunker, dunk anytime you can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have right, it. Take it for granted. All right, Gil, let's do it. It's time for some Ask Agent Zero. Uh, one question: We talked about hobbies. What was your hobby when you weren't playing basketball? Uh, <laughs> I was a Halo fanatic. So what I used to do is I wired my whole house so I can have tournaments at my house. Oh, wow. So I had like, I mean, you it was it was so ghetto, but it was like 
at that point, it was it. Like I had wires coming down the stairs, around a corner, floors of just TVs and Xboxes. And then I just invite people over and we'll just have like 16 on six, just battles. And I'll, I'll be up three, four, five in the morning. Just, yeah. Like I'll have some like nerd, like rig up an Xbox. So like when I shoot the pistol, it's, it's a rocket or a sniper. Like, I, oh, yeah, so, no matter, so imagine Call of Duty yeah. and every any gun you picked up, it's a rocket launcher. Like, oh yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. That's so I was cheap. cheap. I was cheap. Like I, that. Hate, I hate guys like yeah, that. I was cheap, but I that's how I'm like that. was with that game. For sure. Meanwhile, what were the like? Who is it? Some of your vets then at that point was it like Quran and Quran, Antoine? Uh, what were they saying? Antoine. What were they saying when you? They're married. Were, yeah. So you're up all night playing video games. Were yeah, they I don't know. They don't know. I'm in my own house. See, that's the difference. You're not around kids. So depending on what team you go to, depending on what you're what you're introduced to. So, you know, you're coming in there and you go to, let's say, team, team like Toronto, right? Mostly veterans. They got girlfriends, married kids, so they ain't, they ain't gonna spend no time with you. Ain't, <laughs> they ain't like, yo, yo, what y'all, what y'all doing today? Oh, yeah, it's family time. Yeah, oh, that's boring. You get bored. That. That's why, like, that's why, you know, somebody like Kawhi Leonard, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm bored here. Like, yo, bring in Paul George or something to, so I can have somebody to talk to. Nah, they, they look like they have fun for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, because if you don't have nobody that's, that's with you, you don't really. It ain't going to be no bond. That's probably how teams start winning, too, and they yeah. all hanging out and stuff like but that. It, but when a team like that, that means that veteran, that veteran is forcing everybody to all hang out together. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like LeBron, we're going to do Taco Tuesday, we're all going to go together. That's all you get comfortable with, getting, getting better, you know, seeing, seeing, you know, the results of all the hard work you put in. That's the best. You know what I mean? Because no matter how good you are, you, know, you, you average you average 31, 32, 33. It don't matter how much you have, you got to get better. Because you got to remember, if you dog me today and you laughing, I'm training just for you for the next time. So you got to think, everybody you done conquered, they coming. They coming. And you just got to keep coming. So you got to keep trying to fi figure, like you, like you heard about Jordan on the Western end. That, he made up anything to get mad at somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, yeah. Close the door too fast. I'm about to get him fifty. <laughs> yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't speak to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so far, and, that, and that's how you have to do it. You like you gonna go to a team like play against Milwaukee or D D Detroit, Memphis. They ain't nothing in the cities. Or some sorry team that's playing against Cleveland. You got to figure out something to get your mind because you're gonna be ready for the LeBrons and the KDs, yeah. and you're going to be ready mentally for those. It's some teams where there ain't no star on there. This, he, he averaged four points. Now, you got to be that. You got to get yourself ready for that game. Because you got to remember, he looking at you like, yeah, he coming in today. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody trying, trying to try make to, a name. Everybody yeah, trying, trying to make a name. Bomb him, you, know, you know, so you got to be ready. Like, oh, he said, what about me? Oh, okay, I got him. You know what I mean? If, if you have that in your character, if you're a fun guy, you could have the idea, like, I'm going to a small market. I want to have a, put on a big show because... They don't get this kind of entertainment every all the time. Or I go to a Miami, oh, this is a live place. I'm gonna step my game up in a live place. You might not be the psychopath that heard somebody said nice game. Well, what do you mean nice game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill a mixed game. Right. But, but that's but you gotta remember, that's what the NBA is about. You know what I mean? The only thing that separates everyone, the only thing that separates everyone, your superstars out of 82 game, they're mentally there 70, 78. Superstars, your all stars, your all NBA players, 74. All stars, 68. And then you have your 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 good, your good, like man, he he could be an all-star, but he, you know, he, he should have made the all NBA, but he, you know, those are those are like 62s, you know, 58. Those are the guys you're like, yo, he's He's nice, but he just never gets over it. He just doesn't get over the hump. Right. Those are the guys that, like, you, you mentally, they're just not mentally ready all the time. You know, they're, they're you know, I'm going to get, they're good for those good games, but when, they, when they're not playing someone who's going to challenge them, they check out. Yeah, that's how it be. Yeah. All right, Josh, let's get you out on this. So the point is, wherever you're at, enjoy it at any level. Right. 
always look for that challenge, yeah, right? As sure. we said, it comes for back sure. to that at any level. That'll keep you, get your business right. For business sure. first, take care of the family. What else you got, Gil? Don't 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 stay don't stay don't stay don't stay a sun devil too long. You know, I was gonna say heart. two of the three of us yeah. on the couch are cool with you being a sun devil. He's just gonna be the way he's gonna be. Yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to get out of there, man. man they, 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 you know, just, but you want to yeah, be yeah, there. Yeah, no, you yeah, just I'm don't want to stay for I'm, too I'm long. Try, we're gonna try to win. What, you know? what, what is the colors? The Trojan colors? Maroon and gold. USC, right? You guys are like a copycat of I USC. Think no, it's like, no, yeah, ours is like wine. It's like it's wine. It's like a wine color. It's like wine. It's fire, bro. It's tough. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, red, red white, and blue. How original is that? Huh? Yeah, unoriginal Arizona. And yo, and it's Wildcats. Like it's so many Wildcats in college. It's, like, right. it's so many Wildcats. It's only one Sun Devil. And Tucson. <laughs> and Tucson is boring too. And there's only one Josh Christopher. The guppy is becoming a big fish. Big, big fish. fish. I don't know if you said fish. that before. <laughs> the, guppy. Said that on fish. the guppy always becomes the big fish. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. That's how it goes. I'm aware, yeah. The food chain. It's a fact. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's so big. not like his culture. Like he, like he don't wear Jordans, <laughs> Nike socks, bro. You got to have the Jordan <laughs> socks, bro, or plain. My culture. You don't know. You don't know. Sorry, I'm bro. not even gonna get into that with you because he wear Adidas pants, a Puma shirt, and Nike shoes. Yeah, so that's not it. But you gotta pick one. No, no, no. You no, have no, to that, pick that one. just goes. You, no, have, no, 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 no. you have to pick one. I didn't grow up in your era. You have to pick one. No, I didn't grow up in your era. So Jordan really Nike, one. it's all famous. No, you Actually, can't do works. that. You but have to pick I one. I know, but bro. I didn't grow up here. I still wear white t-shirts, bro. No, but sure, I wear white t-shirts too. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's, that's like, all he wears. That's it. That's 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 like I'm going to the club. White tee. White I'm going tea. to a famous restaurant. White tee. That's white clean. Tea. It's clean with a little jacket over the top. Yeah, yeah. Like all the other stuff, I just can't. You can do better than that. I just can't. I don't know how to. But that is that I white tee. That's culture, though. White tee. I look goofy. It's like I look goofy trying to dress up. Like yeah, it's like everybody don't got it like that. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, sometimes you just got to. So I don't, I don't. That's, that's what Nick be laughing at. I be looking at Nick like, what is them yoga yoga pants at the bottom and like? He wore a bathrobe to a game. Yeah, that was yeah. That nah, that was that was tough though. Like that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that, just, that 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 don't care factor. Don't, don't, don't you, care. That's worse than that saying, don't care factor. Yeah, that's worse than Duke or Arizona State. Is Nick wearing a bathrobe to a playoff game? Bad throw from Target. I think it was Versace. It was Versace. Yeah, it was Versace. Give him some credit for that. Uh, well, I'm gonna be watching. For sure. Watching this 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 year. You got to. You should have some games on TV. Some games. Watching Appreciate this, yeah. y'all, hey, man. man. Listen, go out there, have enjoy. Enjoy, sure. enjoy it. For sure. Enjoy your experience in college. You know what I mean? Like I told you what the NBA looks like. So college, you, all the friends, make your friends, have fun, that life experience while you still maintain it because the real world is different. Right. You know what I mean? So you know, you you one year, two years, enjoy, it. have fun with your brother. Y'all, y'all, y'all make memories. You know what I mean? Y'all make those memories and you know. And then from there, y'all just start going to y'all next, y'all next chapters. There it is. We made some memories today. We We enjoyed it. it For Gilbert Arenas, I'm Mike Botticello. We'll see you next time on No Chill.